TKO Part 6 Infested Mind The problem was that he didn't just lose his job. His employer decided to prosecute him for theft since they had him on tape carrying items out of the place. He ended up going to prison for a year and while he was there, Trisha visited him regularly but she also kept her lifestyle going like the street expert she was. She managed to hook up with another man who had completely lost his mind over her. He had the physical characteristics of a frog, and although in the back of his mind he knew he had to have money to have a woman who looked like her with him, he always deluded himself into believing otherwise. And even when it became plainly evident that she was with him because of what he could do for her, he didn't care. He just wanted Trisha to be with him, and he didn't care that she was using him. She stayed with him at his house sometimes, but there were many times that she never made it to his place because she was stuck in the crack house she went to where someone usually came by ready to get high. Occasionally, she'd go back to Ronald's mother's house. The crack house was so hot one summer day when Trisha was there that the couple who lived there managed to run an extension cord from someone's apartment in the building next door so that the cord went out of their window across the alley and into their neighbor's window in order to plug in their refrigerator and fan. The woman's husband had concocted some sort of Flintstone style air conditioner by hanging a bag of ice in front of the fan and it actually blew cool air. Trisha was shocked at the ingenuity of a drug addict. The place was overrun with roaches and mice. She would have considered that she was high when she saw a mouse climbing up the curtain, except she had just gotten there that day and hadn't even had a blast yet. She stayed in this calamity of an apartment for a few hours and finally decided she had had enough because she kept finding roaches in her clothes. She had not ever forgiven them for the time she found roaches in her hair when she passed out and they left her lying on the floor next to the couch as they continued to smoke up her rocks.